Hello everyone, it's Monica here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another shaped card die set by Creative Craft Products. If you've seen me a few days ago, I shared uh, this card, how to create this heart shaped card. And uh, today I decided to show you how to create this uh, gift uh, for you and die set. Uh, so um, these are the dies, as you can see there are 14 of them. So we've got this one which uh, cuts uh, the base. So what I did, I cut this one by folding a card in half and then placing my die. I, I of course I use some washi tape to keep it in place and I die cut the base. And as you can see, it cuts like this because we haven't got the cutting edges here. And what you can do, you can cut it again, the full sheet, and you can um, create a mat just to create the bow if you wish. But what I did, I didn't do this way. I just cut myself another piece from a patent paper and I'm going to line it like so. So in a minute, I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So let me show you the other dies. So we've got the die to create the bow. Like so, like you can see on the packaging, we've got the tag. We've got the another uh, die to cut the bow itself with the center over here. So that's another one. We've got extra die if you want to create a sentiment instead of a tag. So that's another die. And uh, we've got a mat for the tag. We've got those tails for that bow. So there are so many dies and there are really useful not only for this project but also for other projects as well and we've got two sentiments a gift for you which i'm going to use because i prepared myself a tag already so what i did i cut just the tag and that sentiment a gift for you fits that tag as you can see it uh, sticks out a little bit but i think it looks really nice and i tied the ribbon already just to speed up this process of uh, uh, this video and we've got another uh, sentiment which says no time like the present so these are all 14 dies in this set and now i will show you step by step how i'm going to put this card together so for this project, I'm going to use this uh, paper discovery paper pad. Uh, it's six by six. If it's going to be available, uh, I'm going to link it below the video together with that die set because I had it for a while in my stash and I used it a few times. It's really nice paper pad uh, and I really like them. So I I'm using this one and I'm using this pink one as well. I don't know if, yeah, so I'm using those two. And I think they work well together. Together with that, I I'm using uh, this pink cardstock and this uh, dark uh, um, blue. So let me start putting this card together. So as you can see, I've got that uh, that um, card base already cut with that die, and now I'm putting that layer, which I cut from that pattern paper and I'm going to put it like so and I really like those shaped cards and I think these are perfect for example this one is for any birthdays uh, any celebrations so yes I think it's nice to have that one and I think it's still this die set it's still on offer actually all a cutting dies by creative craft products are on up to 50 percent off until 15th of march so if you want to get some nesting dice even because i think nesting dice are so useful especially i i've got my two favorite sets uh, the circle nesting dice just standard circle nesting dice and a hexagon as well because I think it's so nice to create the different shaped cards. And I love, as you know, I love making shaped cards. So now it's time to put those together. So uh, it will create like a bow, but you need to make sure that it's in the center. So I think I'm going to grab myself a ruler, measure this one. So this measures five inches. 
So let me grab a pencil or anything which I can use to mark the center of this piece. So I'm putting, let me see, this one measures and about an inch. Oh, okay. So this one will be easier for me if I do it like this. So I'm going to mark two and three inches on the top and I'm going to do exactly the same Oh, actually at the bottom and uh, the same on the top two and three inches and this way I can actually glue it straight away here so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the glue here and between those I like an inch square I'm going to use the grid on my mat then let me adhere that once this one is done we can adhere to our card so i'm going to put all the informations below the video so you can uh, check it out and as you can see this one is a little bit taller than my card so i have to make sure that i put the glue in the right place so what i'm going to do i'm going to adhere it like so i'm going to add a bit of glue on the top here and then i'm going to add another a bit of glue on the bottom of that panel and then here as well now let me again use the grid of my mat and I will bring myself a ruler as well. This one measures, let me do it this way, five. And I'm going to mark myself again a little bit because I really want it to be in the center of my card. and it's yeah it's perfect so look at that so my gift is done let's see yeah you can open it nicely you can see that i put too much glue but if you wipe it um, straight away it should be fine so this one is done already and now what i need to do if you want just to make it stronger you can cut two or three layers of that bow if you want but I will just adhere it like so without extra layer and I hope it's going to be fine. So I'm adding the glue on here and a little bit on at the bottom of that bow. And now I can adhere it completely flat without foam parts. And what else I want to do? Um, let me add the tails. Let's see which way I want them to be like this and then see if I can, I think this one could be adhered like, like that. And maybe what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some foam pads. Yes, let me do it straight away before I adhere that bow. And some scissors, a little bit of that double-sided foam pad remove the backing and then uh, I'm adding a little bit more glue just to give it more strength so I'm going to add it like so I'm going to glue it here and I'm going to cut off the ends so let's see how long should it be so I'm going to do it this way and then I need to hold it somehow. <laughs> so it's a very quick and easy card and it's a really nice to create something in a um, beautiful shape like this. And uh, you can use the inside to put a gift uh, voucher if you want. So uh, uh, yes, this is your all up to you what you're going to include. You can use different color combo. I uh, do uh, like a maybe a male version as well. Or you can, if you, for example, if you're going for a 
wedding anniversary party or for wedding you can use the same uh, uh, die set to create for example like a wedding card with a gift voucher inside and what i'm doing right now i'm adding a little bit of a 3d foam pad just to raise the ends of that bow just the ends and the tips i got what i'm going to do i'm going to adhere flat just to create this a uh, nice effect and i hope you will like it because uh, i think i will adhere the center this one um on the foam pads as well so let me put it like so and you see by raising that end it creates a nice 3d effect as well i like it then i am going to adhere this one a little bit of glue i think i need more glue here but because i'm going to use that 3d foam pads as well that's fine so let me adhere that one and then last bit of this i'm going to add i'm just thinking should i add this color or maybe i should cut it in a different um maybe the same pink or something let me see if i've got different color of pink to use in the center so actually i decided to use this color because i thought uh, i'm not going to add another shade another color to this composition uh, composition so i think it's nice and i think i'm going to leave it as it is because i don't want to add any gems the pattern paper is very colorful and it's so many things is going on already but it's just an idea for you how you could use this die set so this one is called a gift for you by creative craft products as i said i'm going to link it below the video and just wanted to show you that it fits standard six by six uh, envelope so this one is the gift and i've got this one uh, in a previous video i showed you this one as well from the same uh, creative craft products so thank you so much for watching let me know what do you think about this card uh, as i said you can decorate it in any way you like i decided to go for quite simple design just to show you how to use it but you can go for it and just you can embellish it for example you can create and you can leave that uh, those two elements uh, of the gift on 3d foam pads and uh, do it even di more dimensional if you want and even if you lift it up even more it will still fit that six but by six envelope so uh, you don't have to worry about that i think those are really fantastic dice to use and to have in your stash so thank you so much for watching i will be back with another tutorial i think i'm going to create that um um birthday cake i showed you before uh from the same shaped uh shaped uh, card die set so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video very soon bye for now